You just realize it. And then if you don't realize, this demon will always bring the same thing after a while, the same thing to pull you back. You'll move forward, up, down, up, down. But from today is over. Yeah. Even yourself, when you reach home, you must tell yourself that me, I cannot face generational curse. Yeah. I cannot face what? Yeah. I must break the barrier. Yeah. I must break the barrier. Are you hearing me? Yeah. There's something that I told myself a long time ago. I told myself a long time ago. And this thing, I believe it has worked for me. I told myself that I want to have one wife. I want to have what? One wife. Because I've been seeing in my generation, I've been seeing this will happen, that will happen. That will happen, that will happen. I say no. I just want to have one wife. You can do it. You tell yourself. I don't know if you're hearing me. Temptations will come, but you tell yourself. Second thing, I told myself that I don't want to clap my wife. I told myself that I don't want to beat my wife. Even to do like this. To do like this. I don't. In fact, I will feel like I'm beating myself. If you can ask her, we have got many years together. No clapping. No issue of clapping. Even to do like this. She can't do like this because she has never seen that. But if you do like this to your wife, you see your wife do it like this because she knows. <laughs> what I'm trying to say, I'm just giving an example. I'm not saying we have got a perfect marriage. I know. I'm trying to say to you, there are things you can tell yourself. You know, some deliverance does not need prayer. You must tell yourself. You must do what? Tell yourself. You tell yourself, me, beating my wife. How? With, with what hand? With what hand, beating my wife? You tell yourself, uh, if you are married, you say, okay, it has happened, but it will never happen again. You, it, listen, to be delivered, it means... There was something that was happening. There is something that I will share with you. When I was small, I used to love doing like this. I, and I enjoy it. And then I do it underground like this. So now when I wanted to marry my wife, when they brought her to my wife, there's something that my mom told me. Told my wife. I was there. I heard it. This thing pained me. Every day, I make a vow. My mom says, do you think you'll be able to handle him? I knew why the direction where my mom was speaking about. I just knew that handling means any argument. I knew. I said, what I want to do. I want to, I don't want to, now I want to marry a wife. I've been fighting outside. But a wife is not an enemy. A wife represents me. I will never, ever try to fight anybody. And that's what I did. There will be temptations. The moment when you do that, there will be temptations. I will see... I could hear that it's like I want to and I said I promise God you can promise God that I feel like there's something that there is a, it's not me I've promised God I can't live this kind of a life it's like I want to be angry no 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 I can't be angry why what is the use of being angry to this one here we are eating one food 
<laughs> you know, here in, there's something that they don't know that I do, which I want to tell them to do from today, Mama. You see, me and Mama, we eat from one uh, dish. We eat from one dish. If it's meat like this and Papa here, I love meat and Papa to eat with Mama. So tell them what I do. For many years. What he does is I don't take porridge, Papa, from the plate myself. She, he has to take part of the Papa and give to me so that I can eat every day. How long, Mama? How long? How long? More than 24 years. For many years. If uh, Mama, I'm eating from my plate that was brought for me and Mama, if Mama can take Papa from there and she does like this, I make sure that the tray of the meat face her. Papa face me. <laughs> it's deliverance. So, the moment I do that, I can't fight her. There are some things, if you want deliverance, you must start at home. You must start where? At home. You won't argue. You won't argue. I'm trying to teach you also that if you're a Christian, you cannot be a Christian if you can't love your wife. If you marry a wife and your husband and a wife, you can't be a Christian, a real Christian, if you don't take care of your wife. Even the Bible says, if your wife is not happy, your prayer can reach God. So what I normally do, I make sure that she's happy. And a wife will never be wife unless she's happy. You make your wife happy. I just make sure. Okay, this, this, all right. I see that we pray. Sometimes, okay, food is there. Our son will pray for that food. I take Papa, I give to Mama, just like that. We will finish eating that way. Go and try it. You'll be surprised you're the one now taking the Papa of Mama, eating it to your mouth. But now you're the one who can take this, give it to your wife. You look at her when she's eating. You're not there one hour eating food. I prefer my wife more than any woman I have seen in the world. It's deliverance. So, don't ever marry if you won't love your wife. But if you marry your wife, you argue with her, you want to beat her, she run out. You are stupid. There are many things that our partners will tell us that heaven is not fit for us by our character, how we handle things. If I visit my son, I found he's doing what I'm not doing, I will question him. Because already, can you see, he saw it. He saw what I'm doing. When I sit there, my wife sits there, we bring that. He saw it. And then I want to bring husband and a wife in the church and try to show them, this is what I'm doing with my wife. This is what I'm doing with my wife. Can you see this? My wife does not complain. Even now, myself, I don't hold money. Even now. I'm not a person who say, I'll go and buy a grocery. I'm not crazy. My wife, she's around. I can't go home grocery, grocery and do the budget. She asked me, what can I cook for you? Because she's the one who bought it. But yourself, you are buying stuff. Teen stuff. <laughs> Always teen stuff. Because you don't have a, somebody who's managing at a house. Even your wife, when her husband do that, you know, when your husband is quiet, you must be quiet. If you see that your husband is like, is not happy, can you change the mood? 
There are some wives that when their husband is like is angry, even themselves, they say, hey, what's working? You, you find you don't know which one is a, is a husband. If now you are going to sleep here, you are talking, what's working? Until you die. We will never know how you slept. There are some demons who are entering you now. But I want to promise couples in Charis, there's going to be a victory this year. There's going to be a serious victory. God wants to bless married people. Say, God wants to bless you. Say, God wants to bless you. I was telling my daughter the same. If you want to be delivered, you don't want to live right life, you start in the house. Can you see you are fighting spirits? They visit you in the house. The spirits are in the house you are staying in. So how do you live there? You can create a right atmosphere in that room. When you pray, angels will visit. But if now arguments lies there in the room there, witches will enter. Everything will happen there. What you need to do, you people, unity is needed. And if you do that when you pray, you will make it. I say you will make it. Amen. If you want to see that you don't have a problem that cannot be solved, a husband and a wife must be united. Just one. It's tough in the house. We don't care. We love Jesus. You are standing together. God wants you to be one so that he blesses you. But if you are not doing that, any mistake, maybe this one is the cause. That one might be the cause. Sometimes no respect. You find that the wife is no longer respecting the husband. The husband could not love the wife. So I wish everybody's hearing this. I've been observing. I said, how can I tell people my stupid life? It's better I become stupid serving God than try to show that I'm wiser than my wife. For her to come to me, she has come to my house to agree to my stupidity. So I will be more stupid and humble myself and live a right life. I'm, I'm sure you're hearing me. For her to agree to change her surname, to carry my babies, and to make my bed when I want to sleep and bring my food here. It means she has agreed my stupidity. Let me show my stupid is this. This is my stupid to humble myself, not to make my wife a slave. If you humble yourself, God will lift you up. But now if you want to prove, because many people who are beating their wives, you know, they can't even fight outside there. They are cowards. Others, they never fought when they grew up. They never fought. They were cowards. Now when they find a wife now, they make wives a punching bag. Even some ladies are like that. Many wives were troubling their husbands. But, uh, you know, like, what is happening now? We are talking about issues of abuse of women and children. Many men are under abuse. Many men, they can't talk. Because if they do this, they will be arrested. So, many things is coming from home there, where you grew up. Deal with yourself. We need to bring order. We need to bring what? Order. And Satan won't do anything. I'm just saying this because I've seen some things here when I'm praying for you. God bless you. Thank you. How many of you knows what I'm talking about? If you want to see what I'm talking about, please, you people who are fighting, come forward. Husband and wife, you want to be prayed for, come now. Don't be ashamed of anything. Come. 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 Husband and wife. I know what I'm saying, I mean business. Why are you coming with the letter? Where is your husband? Look at this. Listen to this one now. Where is your husband? At home. At home. She's crying. That's what I'm talking about. This husband is at home. Eh? Yes. You see? So you are fighting. Not physically. Not physically. Not physically. Abusive. Yes, emotionally. And Speak. He started to gamble. He left his job. So now I think he's, okay, yeah. he's got it. He started to gamble. He left his job. 
He's very angry at me, Thomas. You can see my sister, the way she's <laughs> crying now. It's what I'm talking about. You people, when we talk, you must listen. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. This is a problem that nobody can solve. This lady, she's facing it alone. She can't tell anybody. And then also she has to pretend that everything is fine. Eh? Is Every it true? Every day. You pretend? Every day. You did the wedding? Yes, sweet. Now can you see that a wedding is no marriage? No. Eh? No, many it's of you, not. Many of you, the moment when you see a, a brother wearing nice thing and then also doing hairs nicely, you make mistake. You go to the brother. Were you not knowing that he's gambling before? No, he just told me now that he used to gamble before and he left it. Now he went back. This shows that you didn't know him. Yeah. It's not true. It is. Yeah. So marrying a person you don't know, can you see it's a mistake? Mm. Because now you are seeing he's taking all what he have, is gambling there. And you said you can't see. He left the job. And he He's not treating me right these days. It's like he's keeping things. He does, he's not talking to me. It's like I'm forcing myself on him. He even said that he wanted a divorce. You say he want divorce? Yes. So that's what I wanted to tell you. That, you see, many of, how old are you? 31. 31. You have children with him? No. Mm. I just had an operation. That I had an ectopic pregnancy, so they had to remove the tube and the baby. Just one tube. You're left with one tube? Yes. When did but you marry I have him? one child. It's not his child, though. When did you marry him? Uh, it, will be, it will be two years in April. Two years. My sister, we need to pray for you, eh? Amen. Yes. Amen. Your, your case, even if someone cannot see, will realize there's an attack on you. Amen. Because already, can you see the issue of the chup now? You understand? Yes. You must hold on unto Jesus. Something will happen. Amen. We need to pray for you. Amen. So you want to divorce, but don't divorce him. Amen. I'll pray for you. Eh? Because I come from a family of divorces. Eh? I come from a family where that people says, just divorce. Even if you can't see it's an attack. Amen. This thing, you can see it. It's an attack. That's why there's a problem of a chup now. Amen. So it might be the reason that you can find that you say, I, I've tried everything. I tried to cook you. I put in a pot. You can't give birth. Amen. I try to do this. I shabok you. I try everything. Nothing. You can't be pregnant. You can, you can be surprised he's worrying about the issue of pregnancy, a child. Amen. He never told you. No, the tube was removed. I was pregnant, but it was on the inside the tube instead of the womb. So it was removed in November. November. Do, you, do, do you want to continue with him? I want to, but I don't think he wants to continue because he's not showing. Are you not seeing someone? Pardon? Are you not seeing someone? Somebody else. Yeah, yourself. No, no, I'm not. You are, you are with him. I'm with him alone. You want to continue with him? Yes. So, I'll pray for you. Amen. Let's trust God that God will, will help you. Amen. You understand? Let's get another one who have got a very serious challenge. A sister. You have a serious... Where is the husband? He's at work. At work. Even yourself, you've got a problem. Yes. How long? We are married for 21 years. 21 years. He married you when you, How old were you? I was very young. Yeah, you see, marriage of young people is a problem. You people who don't know anything, you just wake up when you are there. But we need to pray for your marriage. Amen. You understand? Also, it's an attack in the family. Yes, I your, know. Your husband is under attack. Let's come to the ladies here, the men here. Amen. Yes. What is your wife say? Uh, she was at work when I left uh, my place. You're wearing a ring. You wed with her? Yes. Uh, so how is your marriage now? Uh, it's like there's a lot of fighting. So started from home until where we are today. Mm. How did you get married with the wedding, with the ring issue? How did you do that? Were you blessed with a pastor? Yes, I was blessed with my pastor. Yes, issues of being blessed, sometimes Satan provoke, is provoked a lot if you don't live right. I'll pray for you uh, for your marriage. Okay. So what is the problem in your marriage? Uh, the problem like now, 
it it is started like it oh, my let, wife. Let's leave it there. It's a very serious case. Let's hear, sister. Are you married? Yes, daddy. Where is your husband? I don't know where is he is now. You don't know where he is now? Yeah. He just go and leave you? Uh, he just chased me away sometime last year. Huh? He chased me away sometime last year. And you're still wearing his ring? Yes, because he didn't say anything about divorcing or something. And you want him back? Yes, daddy. <laughs> but sometimes you want to live your life? Yeah. So you can hear it's painful. I'll pray for you people here. After church, come to me. I want to pray for you on the other side. God bless you. Thank you. So you can hear their case. The lady has been chased. Sister, you have been chased away. Where did he find you when he wanted to marry you? Where did he find you? Come again, Daddy. Where did you meet? At high school. Huh? We met in high school. High school. You can hear that. <laughs> It's a long time in high school. How old were you? I was 16. Yeah, 16. Okay, thank you. We'll pray for you. God bless you. So you can see that you people want to marry, you need to give everything to God now. And trust God, you know, and wait for the right time. Some things you need to do it right so that you, do, you get what is right. If not, we have got Christians here. Even yesterday you are here. But you didn't sleep home. You are attending churches here. Pastor doesn't even know you are singing in the altar here. And here you are not doing what is right. You are, live, you are living, living wrong life. So this is like polluting the church of God. I believe from now on, you people, if you say, okay, I'm, I've got someone I want to marry, is this one. You trust God, you wait for the right time. And the pastor will bless you. And the blessing will be a real blessing. I'm sure you are hearing me. I'm just expecting right thing this year. How many of you are expecting something like that this year? God bless you. I believe you are the one who is following. God bless you. Congratulations.